Hi. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> people welcome back to my channel my name is Kira if you are new here welcome this is my queer ass YouTube channel I feel like so many queer youtubers have done this video but somehow I have not and I've literally had YouTube since like 2016 today I'm gonna be wrecked real mm -hmm. yeah today I'm gonna be reacting to your coming out stories Ooh. You sent me your coming out stories on Instagram and if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, go do that right now because I always post when I'm doing like an Ask Queer Up or like an interactive video where I get your input. Y'all sent me in so many coming out stories. They made me cry. They made me laugh. They made me mad about the world. They made my heart warm. They made my little insides tickle. Um, <laughs> First of all, thank you for trusting me with your coming out stories. They're all gonna be anonymous today unless you specified otherwise. It means a lot that you trusted me enough to be vulnerable with me and share your stories, so thank you. And you are literally like creating this whole video for me, so thank you for that too. <laughs> also, may I add, I read every single one of them and there was probably like 50 or something in there in my inbox. Okay, let's. Let's read them. We're gonna start with a really cute and wholesome one um, because it made my made my heart all warm and fuzzy. Plus, there's cute pictures. I came out last year after my first and current partner asked me to be hers. They didn't push me to come out, they only made me feel comfortable and secure enough to do so. She made sure to ask me in a discreet enough manner, I'll insert a picture, but she made a scratch away art of a rose and on the back of it had a post-it note asking me to be hers. And I will insert the picture. That is so so kind and thoughtful. And I love how like discreet it was. Like she didn't want to like force you to come out, but she was just like, hey, I like you, do you like me? And that's good because I know that in a lot of countries like being queer is illegal and like just not accepted by the general public. So that's like a really considerate thing to do. We're still together and have our two year anniversary next April. Me and Lawrence is in April too. Currently we're a long distance, but I plan on moving to the East Coast by the end of next year. If you end up using this, I want people to know that it's scary coming out, yes. Even when you're like 80% sure it'll go well, it's still scary. But in the end, it is so, so worth it. Here's a cute pic of us at our anniversary dinner this year. Oh, you guys are so cute! I can feel the love by looking at this photo right now, let me tell you. You guys are fucking adorable, little fucking beans. I want to squeeze you! Oh. Not in an aggressive way, okay? Just in, a, just in a cute aggression. Hi, I love your content. So, I came out a few months ago. I was closeted my whole life because I live in a very religious community and everyone was expecting for me to get married and have kids at that time because I'm at the right age. No, you can take all the time in the world, honey. You've got your whole life. You can get married at 82 if you want. But I met this girl and we instantly clicked. We became a couple, but in secret. We kept seeing each other for a year, but one day we were at my place because I was home alone. We fell asleep while cuddling on my bed and time passed and my family came back home. They saw us. We were half naked and asleep. Fuck. <laughs> I have a similar situation that I don't think I can share on the internet, but I totally feel the pain in this moment. I started crying and I was saying that I was sorry and I fainted. When I woke up, everyone was gone and my mom was holding my hand. I started crying again and told her how sorry and embarrassed I was and she said nothing. She just hugged me. She told me she loves me no matter what and now I live free. Aw, okay. It ended up being a good ending. I'm, I'm really happy about that. I've had situations where like parents walked in on me, but like from the other room. So like they heard stuff, but they didn't see stuff. And then the next day, like the family member just never brought it up. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we don't have to talk about this now and it'd be all awkward and stuff, but still like, oh, it's mortifying. Okay, this is a good one. I was at school on my way to the bathroom when I walked in and saw literally every hot girl and gay ever that I crush on in the hallways. I had to text my best friend. I wrote, OMFG, all the hot gay bitches are in the bathroom right now, said, without thinking. I looked to the top of the screen and see, mom. <laughs> my heart drops to my toes and I realize I basically just came up to my mom. Ah! <laughs> Oh my 
gone. I've totally sent my mom like, hey baby, like when are you getting home? Stuff like that, but never like that. She was confused, so I told her I was gay and she thought I was joking, sad face. Very much regret it because I felt so forced and wasn't ready. That sucks. I was hoping you would say that maybe like, she'd be like, oh, haha, -ha, that's so funny. But not all parents be like that. I understand that. Cause when I first came out, one of my family members was like, okay. And then like, I had to come out to them like a few months later and say, I'm still queer. And they were like, I thought you were just like joking. Like I thought you were just like going through something at the time. But I'm like, no, this is, still happening and it's always been happening. <laughs> and then that family member cried and um, yeah. It's f everything's fine now. I was 15 years old. My dad took me to a family party in Manchester and I had never met any of them before. My family is very relaxed about drinking so they kept buying me wine. I ended up having about nine glasses of wine and was very drunk. <gasps> Holy, at 14? I didn't even say the word shit. <laughs> We left around one and my dad was steaming. What? Steaming. What does steaming mean? Like angry? Steaming. Meaning British? Oh, drunk. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Little Canadian here. Gotta translate. So your dad was fucked up. I was so drunk I could barely walk so she was helping me. Then when we were all in the car park, I threw up all over my shoes and proceeded to fall into a nearby bush. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I randomly mumbled, Dad, I'm a lesbian. Oh, honey. All the truth comes out when you're drunk. My cousin and my dad just laughed at me and then I turned to my cousin and said, I don't know why you're laughing, I'm serious. Awkward silence. My dad told me that he still loved me in a very drunken manner and then we decided to walk to her, our hotel even though we were told not to. Oh God. That was only about me being gay and I still haven't come out as gender fluid, but yeah, ooh, good luck with that one. I feel like it's a whole different ball game with like certain families with like gender. Coming out as like gay is like one level and then coming out as like non-binary, trans or gender fluid is like a whole other concept for your family to like wrap their heads around. And I feel like most people at this point, semi-accepting families are, are like, okay, you're gay, you're lesbian, you're bi, like nothing I can do about it. But like anytime you bring up like gender, they're like, no, you're either like, you have the body parts of a female, you're a female. You have the body parts of a male, you're male. Like you can't argue with your biology but like what they don't understand is that like sex and gender are different. Good luck uh, coming out as gender fluid. You don't need to come out like before you're ready. Take it easy, take your time. Um, but I'm glad that your dad was cool about you being a lesbian. That's at least good. That's one step in the right direction. <laughs> So a while ago I came out to my mom. It wasn't something I felt like doing, but rather I had to do to achieve freedom, wanting to be out with everyone and not wanting her to hear that I was bi from others. Makes sense, makes sense. So I sent her a letter by text explaining everything and then I went to talk to her in the kitchen. In general, she accepted me, but she said that I was influenced by YouTubers like you. Sorry, mom. <laughs> and that in reality, it is just a phase. Classic line. You should play Not A Phase by Jessie Page for her so that hopefully she understands um, that it's not a phase. You know I want you. Here comes the shocking part. I asked her why it should just be a phase and her answer was, because I've been through it too. But then I met your father and I realized it wasn't possible. Who's gonna tell her? <gasps> your mom is queer too. It sounds like to me, she doesn't think bisexuality exists. Like she thinks there's either like gays and straights and like no in between. Like in the 80s, the 70s and 80s, it's like bisexuality first started becoming like, you know, a term that people were using more frequently, but there was a lot of backlash. Like, I mean, obviously there's a lot of backlash now, but like it makes sense that your parent who probably grew up in the 70s or 80s has that mindset because back in the day, bisexuality was like so taboo and like everyone was like, you can't do that. You're not allowed. It doesn't exist. I'm sorry that she says it's just a phase, but one day she will see that it is not. Just by you living your life in your, in all of your bisexual glory. Here's my craziest coming out story. By the way, I love you so much. You're such an idol to me. I love you. Basically, I'm gender fluid and a lesbian. And my geography teacher told all the girls to go to one side of the room and the boys to the other. They gotta stop doing that. How many times? Be more creative. 
Okay, don't separate the class based on your body parts. If you're watching and you're a teacher, separate your class in other ways than that. Anyway, sorry, got heated. So I stayed where I was because I'm stubborn and hate people calling me a girl. So when I didn't move, she got mad and said, how could you be a lesbian if you aren't a girl? And I had not told anyone. But I anonymously contacted our school about my LGBTQ plus issues. So I think they lied and it isn't anonymous. What the fuck? Okay, that is so bad because usually you should be able to talk to a guidance counselor about like, you know, any problems that you're having, whether it's gender issues, sexuality issues, you know, general self-discovery issues, anything. They should use the same confidentiality that like a therapist would. Going around and like telling other people, like that's, that's not your place, especially as like a person in authority to tell like other teachers and other staff members the private information that a student told you. Mm -mm. That sucks. I'm so sorry. I would literally like file a complaint to the school board. <laughs> like, but good for you for not going on either side. I want to know what happened after that. Like, did you end up going to one side? Did you make your teacher like split you up into different like groups? Like what happened? I was over at my nan's with my cousin and I was like, can I tell you something? I fell in love with a girl. And then she cried because she thought I was in love with my cousin. Grandma? Why is your mind going to incest, honey? <laughs> Do you want to read the next one, Lauren? I'm scared. Sure. Okay. I went to a Halsey concert with my dad. They were selling LGBTQ plus flags at the venue street and I was giving the flags hard eyes because they were so sparkly and beautiful. <laughs> so I went, the flags are pretty, haha. -ha. My dad knew they were LGBT flags. It had just been Pride Month. He saw me ogling, ogling them and asked, do you want one? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And this tiny voice and he asked me, and are you LGBT? <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> He literally just kept walking and went, ah, my heart was beating so fast. I didn't know what he was going to say, but after he just went, you never told me. And I explained that I didn't feel the need to come out because I never had a girlfriend or a boyfriend or any significant other before. He took it so well and bought me the flag. I was so happy during the whole concert. It was wholesome. Aww, that's so cute. I feel like that's really cute. Re that's such a like dad reaction to just be like, ah. I'm really happy for this person. Yeah, that's um, adorable. Oh, I went to a Halsey concert in 2017. Like it was a very, it was a small venue. So like they were able to like connect with the audience. Colors was playing and they came out to the crowd and the fans had to help them up. And then they came to the other side right by me and I helped them stand up. And like, I realized my hand was still hot. Like their leg, Halsey's leg. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm the only one touching them still. Oh! <laughs> So I was like, I feel like I'm never washing this hand. I know. <laughs> I wish I touched Halsey's thigh. Thanks for the cameo. Next. This video is gonna be really long. Thank you. <laughs> ah! This isn't very emotional, but I accidentally commented the scissor emoji on this girl's post that I had a big fat lesbian crush on. <laughs> Sorry, that is golden. Everyone in the grade saw it and knows I'm gay, which turned out to be good because I always get my sexuality assumed to be heterosexual due to my femininity. The audacity you had to comment a scissor emoji. Like, you could have just like commented like a kiss or like a fire or like a hard eyes, but no, you really went, you really like took the next step to comment a scissor emoji, so props to you. So I was dating a guy and I think we were 13. Oh, wow. I hadn't even hit puberty yet. <laughs> I had a really good friend and her and my boyfriend at the time were the only people I came out to. She'd usually stop talking to me for random periods of time because she said I did something gay. I think I was like standing too close to her, putting my arm on her shoulder. That's fucked up. Mm, I know where this is going. So this one time we were in the bathroom getting ready for PE and she basically stands there naked being in the closet in 13, I tried to not be in change rooms as much as possible. I feel that. So I pretended to tie my shoelaces for like two minutes straight. <laughs> like this girl's standing in front of you naked and you're like, don't look up, don't look up, don't look up. And she sighs and gets ready. And that was the Friday she blocked me on all social media on the weekend. I wasn't at school on the Monday, but that Tuesday, everyone started asking me if I was gay. I still had a boyfriend at the time, but she sent around screenshots that weren't actually me, 
saying how I'm dating him to stop having feelings for her. Interesting. She's in all my classes now, but we've never spoken after that, LMAO. You know what I say to that? She's got a bad case of internalized homophobia because guess what? That girl is gay. And she likes you. And she's just like insecure about her own gayness that like she wants to make you feel bad to make her feel better. It's a case of bullying, but like in an internalized gay way. It's like, you know how in sex education, like Adam Groff is like, bullying um Eric. Eric he's bullying Eric and Eric's like what the fuck dude like I didn't do anything to you because Eric's gay and then we find out that so is Adam and Adam just had internalized homophobia so he was bullying Eric and then I don't know if you've seen the newest season now they're dead but then they break up, but I think honestly Eric like kind of deserved better, but like it was sweet of him for trying to like help Adam. But like Adam just kept like doing bad shit to Eric, so. And I feel protective over Eric. It didn't justify him cheating when he was in Nigeria though. That made me a little bit, mm. But um, I think they're honestly a little bit problematic together and Eric needs to find someone that's like out and like on his level, you know? Anyway, that's what that sounds like. <laughs> Aw, this one's so cute. Okay, so my sister always called me Ray, which is half the syllables of my birth name, Rachel. She'd use it to get my attention and for years never said my birth name without me ever telling her how much euphoria it brought me. Then suddenly all my friends were calling me the same thing just after hearing my sister call me it. So basically, my sister and all my friends renamed me before I even told them I'm non-binary. Ah, that's so cute! So I decided that name fit perfectly and that actually I've always been Ray. So I began only using that and slowly showing my true self. And the moral of the story is, my loved ones basically came out for me. Oh, you look cute. Slay! Thank you. Well, I don't know where you're taking me. I'm taking Lauren somewhere as a surprise. Anyway, that's adorable. I wish I had like a cool gender neutral name like Ray. Actually, the other day I was like, oh, Ray is such a cute name. What would my gender neutral name be? I know of people named Kieran, and then Kira is like the female name. What's the gender neutral name of Kira? Comment below. I'd really love to know. And don't say Queera. <laughs> what would mine be? Low. Low? Like low, yeah. I like that. You want me to call you that? Auntie Lou. <laughs> Auntie Lou. <laughs> Auntie Lou. The homophobic girl in my class said, I swear to God, if anyone in this class is gay, I am very much the quiet person in the class who barely ever speaks. I said, guilty. And the bell rang, so I left. She keeps giving me dirty looks, but I'm sure it's just because she's in the closet and has a crush on me, so. Nail paint emoji. You just wanted to know who else is gay so that she could they could be on her radar. That is so true. If anyone's here here is gay, like let's go on a date. Give me your number. Like if anyone here is gay, meet me in the girls' locker room. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a video attached to this one. Okay. Well, first of all, I was blackmailed by my best friend's mom. The very next morning, I was dumped by my girlfriend. Then my mom went through my phone and confronted me about it. Since that experience was terrible, I decided to tell my sisters in a more fun way via this video I made. Oh my god. First of all, I'm so sorry. It's really fucked up. No one should use that against you. No one should use that to blackmail you. You made a fun little video to show your sisters, so let's watch it. I love your shirt. Where'd you get it? Shoot me a link. Oh my god, this one's funny. Okay, so basically in October of 2019, I had been in the closet for a long time and it was driving me a little crazy. I went into my phone calendar, scrolled to June 1st, 5,000, like the year 5,000, and added an event that said, I'm gay. <laughs> Random. Little did I know that my family had some sort of group calendar thing. So anytime anyone adds a new event, everyone else gets a notification. Turns out, somehow, neither of my parents saw the notification, but my brother did. Luckily, he's like really awesome, so he didn't out me or try to get me to come out to him. Good brother move. Flash forward to April 2020. My brother and mom needed new phones. My brother was able to set up his no problem, but my mom's was being really weird. She started get getting a bunch of random old notifications from her previous phone. She probably about got about 20 notifications out of the hundreds she got when she had her old phone. And of course, one of them was just the one that said, my name, 
just added an event to the calendar saying, I'm gay. <laughs> my family and I just stood there for like five minutes staring at it before I started crying, even though my parents are so supportive and I knew they would be. Oh my God. Apple outed you. We can all just point our fingers at Steve Jobs for this. I think I might have to make a sequel. I think I have to make a part two, honestly, you guys. We've already been filming this for like 30 minutes, so it's gonna be hard to cut it down into a short video. So um, stay tuned for part two because it will happen. I hope you enjoyed this. I am sending so much love to you guys. Thank you for sharing your stories with me and just know that you are valid, you are beautiful, and I am giving you a virtual hug right now. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Oh, pretty cool. Yay. <laughs>